Hi everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. I have some really gorgeous patterns to share with you today. Now we were really excited when the second issue of Know Me Patterns um, from the big four pattern companies landed very recently with us here in the UK. And um, if you don't know, Know Me is a brand new brand that has been introduced from the big four pattern companies, which are now technically the big five. And this, um, the idea was brought about by Mimi G, who has um, curated a, a, a collection of designers from the, from the sewing community and given the opportunity to all these creators to design their own patterns. So it's a wonderful idea, you know, to really get the sewing community, you know, the people that use the, these patterns involved in the pattern design process and some of the patterns that, you know, well, all of the patterns that have come out from these um, amazing designers in both this collection and the first one you know some really fresh designs some something that's really new for the big four something that's really new for sewing patterns in general really you know they're really pushing the boundaries and there's some really exciting stuff so from this set, uh, second collection we have both men's wear and children's wear patterns and um, it's the same collection designers of last time with one exception we have a new designer which i will uh, introduce you to um, and yeah, there's just, like I said, some absolutely gorgeous designs. So I've picked out just six of my favourites to share with you in the video today. And I've pulled um, a fabric from our huge selection here at Minerva to team with each pattern to give you some ideas on the sorts of um, fabrics that you could use to make these patterns. So let's jump in and the first uh, pattern I've got to share with you, so this is from one of our wonderful, amazing brand ambassadors um, from Minerva. This is Duana M Chandler who creates the most amazing garments and I'm always continuously inspired by what she does with our fabrics here at Minerva. And this, so this is her second pattern now for Nomi and I think this one is a really beautiful pattern, especially for spring and summer. So it's really working on the cut, cut out trend and we'll insert some images so you'll be able to see and this pattern actually includes three different patterns. So we have a top, some shorts and a dress and the, the top or the top of the dress you'll see has a zip up closure um, up the front of the pattern and I think that just creates a really striking very cool kind of trendy look and I love the shape of the neckline and I love the shape of the the straps which sort of just go over the shoulder it's really pretty detail and um, the top version is is cropped and straight and the the top part of the dress actually works into a cut out detail at the front here so that's really on trend with everything that we're seeing you know in the shops at the moment with all these cut out details um, and I think you know if you're not necessarily um you know don't want to necessarily show too much flesh you know it is sort of like above the waist sort of just below the the, the bust area uh, and it, you know it is just a small section that's cut out um, so yeah I think that'll be wearable for quite a lot of people but you know if you're not into the cut out then there's the top and the short section and um, short styles as well so the shorts I think are a really lovely style for summer, they're quite a long short which I think really works with that crop top, they've got fantastic pockets in there and then the dress, uh, sorry the skirt part of the dress you know has a similar vibe to the shorts in that it has those big pockets and the skirt actually has a zip that runs down the front as well which echoes the zip in the, in the top so that's a really lovely detail and yeah just um, you know a lovely option for spring and summer uh, and just lots of design details and lots of options to be able to sew from the one pattern which is fantastic. Now the fabrics that this pattern is suggesting, so it's suggesting chambray, cotton blends, gingham, uh, twill, denim and linen blends. So you have lots of different options. So you basically want a woven fabric um, that's medium weight uh, with a little bit of structure. So I was very inspired by the dress on the envelope of this pattern and I think in that sunny yellow colour it just it just works really really well for spring and you could have fun with a contrasting zip detail as well with that. So the fabric I've chosen is our beautiful yarn dyed cotton chambray fabric 
and we have it in this beautiful summery yellow colour. Isn't that just such a gorgeous colour? It's not too bright but it's still rich and um, you know almost like a buttery yellow. It's really really pretty. It's a lovely weight. It'd be lovely and soft and breathable so perfect to wear in summer and yeah I think that would just make the perfect fabric um, choice for that pattern and would really give you a look quite similar to um, Joanna's version there on the envelope. So the next pattern I've got, this is another of our brand ambassadors and we're so happy to see our brand ambassadors releasing their own patterns. It's really, really exciting. And this one is from Keechy B Style who just has the most amazing sense of style. And I, I love this second pattern from her. Um, it really it, it really has almost like a fit and flow kind of style it cinches in at the waist which is something i love and it it this is a, a wrap dress that has a shirt dress kind of look to it as well so it has patch pocket details and um, it has a tie around the waist um, it has you know a beautiful collar detail and then the difference between the two views is in the sleeve so view B is a sleeveless option which I think is lovely for summer um, and view A has a flutter sleeve detail which is just so pretty I really love that one I love a flutter sleeve, I just think it's gorgeous. But a flutter sleeve on a shirt dress, you know, I think that's quite unusual, uh, but it really, really works. Now I was again really inspired by this main view on the envelope when it came to fabrics. I think the combination of colours that she's put together, it's like a chartreuse olive green with um, with like a, a, a like a burnt orange colour and they just work beautifully together and I love how she's done one half of the garment in the green, the other half of the garment in the orange but then she's brought the orange across onto the green half in the pockets. It's just so cool. It works so well and you know it just doesn't it doesn't surprise me with, with um Marcia's style. You know, she's just she's so good at putting styles and fabrics and colours together. So I've taught shamelessly copied her <laughs> uh, with my fabric selections. So the fabric um that I've chose and um, this is our enzyme washed a hundred percent linen fabric. So I, I, like I say, I was totally inspired by the colours, but I've gone for a linen fabric because as soon as I saw this pattern, I just envisaged a linen shirt cum wrap dress for summer. Um, and I was so happy when I found these two colours in the exact same 100% um, linen fabric. So I knew it was just meant to be and I had to share them with you in the video today. But look at those colours together, don't they work? absolutely beautifully such a in a way quite an unusual color palette i think but it just works so well and you could do exactly as marcia has done there you know make one half of the garment in one color one half in the other and then take the pockets um in this color across onto this side as a detail i think that would be really really gorgeous and in this fabric you know it's such beautiful quality it, it, you can really see the linen slub in this fabric. It just feels, oh, it's amazing. If you love linen, you will love this fabric. It's it's fabulous. Um, but you know, if these colours aren't for you, um, this is one of our core ranges at Minerva, so it comes in loads of different colourways. Um, so, you know, you, you could have real fun in picking out two colours that, you know, work for you. You know, maybe like a pink and a purple, or a black and a white, that would be really striking. Maybe a navy and a cream. There's just endless colour combinations you could put together. Um, or, of course, you know, sew it in one simple colour, in a solid, and with all those pocket details and all those just gorgeous details on the pattern, it's, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous garment. Yeah, I'm really inspired by that one. I think I may have to make that pattern. <laughs> now next up we have a menswear pattern. So this is by Norris Danter Ford, who is married to Mimi G and is an amazing menswear designer. And he always comes with, up with pattern styles that are a little bit unusual, you know, that are pushing the boundaries a little bit, which is really great to see in menswear. You know, often we see the same styles, but this definitely isn't that. This is really cool. Now this pattern is um, a pair of jeans and there's two different views on the pattern which are quite similar. Um, there's just, um, you know, sort of details in the pockets and things um, um, that, you know, you can choose to add or not. And the leg on the view A is wider, whereas the leg on view B is slimmer. 
Um, so it's you know it's good that there's the two leg options on there because I think you know that it does change the look of the pattern quite a bit. Now, fabric suggestions for this pattern, um, we are looking at cotton blends, chino, corduroy, denim, linen blends or twill. But I was totally inspired by the fabric, the, he has made his version in on the front, um, which is made in denim. And for me, for me this pattern style is is all about those really unusual pocket details. We'll obviously insert, you know, the line drawing as per, as usual, so you can really see the details in the pattern. But look at those pocket, those, the, the the sort of seam details on the front, um, and it has like a sort of tab detail that goes into the back pocket. They're really really cool, and I just think it looks brilliant made in denim. So the denim that I've chose, now this um, is one of our core range denims that we stocked for years and years and years at Minerva. It comes in black or this, um, which is like a charcoal grey kind of black, or this really lovely indigo blue. And it is, when you think of a classic denim, this is it. You know, it's a non-stretch, it's got a good weight, you can see the structure. It's one of those types of denims that gets softer with washing and softer with every wear. So, you know, as you made and wore these jeans, they would become, um, you know, they would change slightly and they would get softer with every wear and they would become beautifully aged over time and just have loads of character. Um, and yeah, I think this will be absolutely gorgeous. Um, and yeah, like I say, it comes in two different colours, so you could choose which one was, um, you know, more suited to your taste. And yeah, it will be just perfect for that pattern. Now the next fabric, uh, sorry, pattern I've got to share with you. So this is another design from Alyssa Threads, and this is really a really really sweet pattern. So this is um, a top that has a sweetheart. Um, neckline detail. It has a little frill along the bottom of the of the top and then these gorgeous puff sleeves that has like an elastic detail, like gathered detail around the top of the sleeve into this gorgeous puff detail um, and then it, there's actually different options though, there's three different options on this pattern so view B which is the main one on the envelope is this, sh is this shorter puff sleeve View B, uh, sorry, view um, A has the puff sleeve which then goes into a longer sleeve. So it's a puff at the top that draws in at the top of the arm that then draws in again at the cuff. So that's a really lovely detail. And then view C is um, is without a sleeve. So it's just little straps that tie in little balls at the top. So I think that one's actually very different to the other two views and re a really, really sweet top. Um, yeah, I think it's it's a very pretty, very feminine, very girly kind of top. Really, really lovely, and I, th I can see this one being really popular. Now, um, fabrics for this pattern, it's recommending chambray, lightweight cotton, cotton blends, Swiss dot, gingham, linen blends, poplin, seersucker, shirtings, boil. As you can see, loads and loads of fabrics are suitable. It basically needs a light to medium weight woven fabric, something with a little bit of structure that holds its shape a little bit. So the fabric that I've gone for, and I was inspired by this version on the envelope, because I think this it's such a girly, pretty pattern and style, and I think a floral really suits it really well. So I've chosen this beautiful cotton poplin fabric in this absolutely gorgeous, look at that, floral design. So it's a white background with these rich red flowers on there. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's, it's really sort of like romantic and pretty. Hold it up that way for you, isn't that? It's just lovely. I think it would really, really suit that pattern. Um, and it does actually come in other colourways, this one as well. So different coloured backgrounds, still with the red floral. Um, but I chose this one because I think it will be lovely for spring and summer in this lighter, brighter colour. And I just love the strong red print on there. Really, really beautiful. Almost has a little bit of a vintage vibe as well, which I really love. Now, the next pattern I've got to share with you, so this is the fifth of the sixth pattern today, and this one is by the new designer that has been introduced to the, um, the No Me brand, and this is Gwen Heng, who is actually another of our Minerva brand, um, brand ambassadors, and um, you know I'm always so inspired by her, the things she makes, and this pattern, 
I just think is gorgeous. It's, oh, I love the style. I think it's so Gwen. You know, seeing all the things that she's made in the past, I, I can absolutely, you know, I would, I would look at this pattern and I could have guessed that she would have designed it. I think it's so lovely. Now, again, I think this has quite girly, pretty vibes. So this is a dress pattern, two different views. Um, the view A has, uh, again it's like a sweetheart neckline on this one, um, it has a curved seam under the bust and little gathers going into the bust to create the shape. Then it has um, gather, uh, sorry, darts that go down the front, from, from, down from the um, seam line at the bust which creates the shape and then it has like a gently sort of flared skirt. Um, it's not like a full skirt, circle skirt but you know a gently flared um, shape and so it's fit, very fitted at the waist and then flares out over the hips which I think is a really lovely style for lots of people and then it has this full length sleeve that gathers into um, a cuff at the wrist and it's just got so much drama it's wonderful. Now you, you think on looking at the front of the envelope that that's, you know, that's style A but when you look at the line drawing you'll see it actually has a big bow detail on the back of view A which is really, really lovely um, and I think it's very, very Gwen, you know, to have these big bows um, it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous if you love that kind of, you know, style with bows and puff sleeves and, you know, pretty skirt detail, it's just gorgeous and then view B, so view B is definitely the more dramatic of the two and definitely the more unusual design. So everything is quite similar to view A except this time it has the big bow detail on the, on the bust area at the front. So it really makes a statement about that bow. Um, and the sleeves um, are still a long full sleeve but instead of drawing into a cuff um, there are, you know, like um, a... a a full sleeve you know that really hang down quite a big shape so I think you could you know you could absolutely add those sleeves onto view A if you wished or you could choose the sleeves from view A and add them to view B you know you can mix and match um, all the elements from the different views and make your perfect dress uh, but yeah it's such a lovely pattern now fabrics for this we're looking at cotton blends crepe double georgette rayon silky types um, and what I thought with this pattern, so I've gone with a little bit of a wild card with the fabric, but I thought to have something with a little bit of structure would really suit this fabric. So you want something with reasonable drape to, you know, for those big sleeves, but it has to have enough structure to hold the shape of that skirt and hold the shape of the bow as well. So the one I went for was our Minerva Exclusive Linen Viscose Fabric. Now this fabric has drape with structure so it's semi-structured semi-drapey and I just think this leopard love print would be so cute for this pattern wouldn't that just make the most gorgeous dress um, I think the scale of the print really suits it as well I don't think you want anything too large scale I don't think because you know you really want to make a statement of all the pattern details that are on this pattern and whichever sleeve you went for you know this fabric has enough drape to to really allow you know that that shape to shine and um, but it would hold the shape of the skirt well and it would hold the bow shape as well beautifully so I think that would be gorgeous and we have lots of prints in this um, linen and viscose base cloth so uh, you know if this print isn't for you do take a look at the other ones on your website as well because there's absolutely loads that will be gorgeous for that pattern and the last pattern I've got to share with you so this is a gorgeous design by Beauty Jador um, who did the fabulous coat from the first collection and I think her second pattern is another showstopper I think this is going to be another um, bestseller from the collection it's a fabulous dress that has the most fabulous sleeves ever it's an absolute showstopper so again you have two options with this pattern now view a is so it's a it's a plain bodice with a very simple round neckline and bust starts for some shape it has a curved seam at the waist with a gathered skirt and pockets and I love the pockets on this pattern it looks a really lovely um, really lovely way that they're sewn in 
And then the unusual bit with this pattern is that it has another tier of fabric that's sewn on to the skirt, but it's not just a straight um, seam line as, as tiered skirts generally are. This one actually curves up and then is straight in the middle. Um, which is just a really unusual and lovely detail but it's actually straight at the back so it really makes a feature of it at the front and it echoes the line of the pockets so it's really clever and just you know I think a really thoughtful detail um, this, yeah it's just really really beautiful and you know the statement thing on this pattern is those sleeves so the sleeves on view eight are just huge <laughs> really really big puff sleeve they're absolutely gorgeous um, and then view b so view b is very similar but it's a shorter skirt so the skirt section is just the same except that it's a shorter view but what is different is the sleeve on view b is even bigger <laughs> than the sleeve on view a and it's longer as well so you know it's even more drama um, and I do think the I mean you could choose to do it whichever way you want it but I do think the big sleeve of, of UB really suits the shorter length and again the smaller sleeve on view A suits the longest length at uh, longer length just as uh, you know she's designed it on the pattern um, yeah re uh, it's just such a stunning uh, I can't wait to see people's versions of this pattern now suggested fabrics for this one we're looking at cotton blends linen blends sea sucker even novelty sequin, uh, double knit, taffeta and gauze. So it almost feels like anything goes on this pattern. Um, now I I really see a spring and summer dress in this pattern. Um, I do love the idea of sequins, I must admit for a party version, but yeah, I, I mainly see this as a spring and summer one. And because it's such a statement dress, I think it can absolutely carry a statement print of a fabric. So I've gone for our pollen passion print in our Minerva exclusive linen and viscose blend fabric. And I just think this would make the most beautiful summer dress ever. I mean, look at the print on this fabric. It's such a showstopper. And you know, the size of those sleeves, the fullness of that skirt it's really going to show off the scale of this fabric absolutely beautifully and what a, it's just a gorgeous print that beautiful that tomato red colored background with the pink and navy um, and um, like sort of whiny bordeaux colored flowers it's just gorgeous and yeah let me know I mean do you think that as well will make an absolutely show-stopping dress I just think that would be incredible and I really hope someone makes it if you do please share it with me on the neighbor because I would absolutely love to see it I think it would be incredible so that's all the patterns and fabrics I have to share with you today so I hope you found that inspiring and um, like I said this is just six of my picks from the latest collection of Nomi patterns. There was more patterns in the um, collection that was released. So we'll link to that to all those below so that if you want to check out all the patterns that were released, you can check those out on our website. Um, so do let me know in the comments below which was your favourite pattern from my picks today, which was your favourite fabric, have I inspired you to sew anything today? I'd love to hear from you. As always, we will tag everything that I've mentioned in today's video below. Um, so you can click on all those products that we've tagged below and check out, you know, what different colours it comes in, the pricing details. And as always, the fab thing with the Minerva website is any makers that have um, shared things they've made in these fabrics, if they tag the fabric or the pattern into their posts, you'll be able to see those on the product pages. And it's just so inspiring, you know, to be able to see what other people have made with patterns and fabrics, you know, to give you an idea of what it might look like on you, uh, you know, what the scale of the print is, how it hangs and drapes, all that stuff that, you know, can sometimes be a little bit hard to tell when just looking at the picture on screen. So do take a look at all those links below and I'm sure you'll be, uh, you know, inspired to, to um, you know, start your next sewing project. So if you would like 10% off everything I've mentioned today and everything on the Minerva website, you can join our craft club. I'll put the link to the details below. Um, but quite simply, if you um, join the membership, um, you will save 10% off everything on our site for 12 months from the date that you sign up. And that's always on top of any sales or offers um, or any other promotions at Minerva. So it's a fantastic way to you know, save on every single purchase from us. 
So thank you very much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed um, picking out these patterns and fabrics. If you did enjoy it, please do, please do give us a like and give us a follow. And be sure to create a free profile with us here on Minerva so you can join our wonderful sewing community. You can always see the new videos that we release every single day. You can chat sewing with you know, fellow um, sewists from all around the world that are as passionate about sewing as you. You can ask for tips and advice. Um, you know, you can share your works in progress with us, you can share your sewing plans with us, you can share your finished makes with us. It's a wonderfully supportive, friendly and welcoming community that we'd love to you know, welcome you to join. So do create a free profile with us. Thanks very much for watching today and I will look forward to seeing you again next time with more sewing books.